Jamaica's National Vaccination Implementation Program got a boost on Thursday with the donation of two vaccination buses. The buses were donated by the people and the city of Yantai, China. Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton received the gift on behalf of the government of Jamaica. Simone Absalom Gale tells us more. Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says his ministry welcomes the donation of the two vaccination buses from the Municipal People's Government of Yantai and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China, noting that this is one of many instances of aid given to Jamaica by the people of China. China continues to be a vital partner and contributor to the health sector, to the health and well-being of the Jamaican people. We stand to benefit in so many ways. Uh, these buses are just an addition to that of which we are extremely grateful. In other critical areas, as mentioned earlier, we stand to benefit from the Child and Adolescent Hospital, currently under construction in the western end of the island. This new children's hospital will be the first and only public hospital, not only in Jamaica, but also in the wider Caribbean region that has dedicated adolescent health services. For her part, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, says this donation solidifies Jamaica's relationship with Yantai, as the two cities have been diplomatically linked since 2019. The consistent assistance that China has provided towards Jamaica and our national growth and development, particularly in the area of public health, continues to be welcomed and very much appreciated. In particular, your support of Jamaica's COVID-19 response has been of immense service to the Jamaican healthcare system during these complex and challenging times. As we grapple with our third wave of the virus, today's ceremony is an opportunity to welcome the new and creative ways of ensuring that our population is able to readily and comfortably access the vaccines. To this end, these vehicles have thankfully already been put into immediate use in communities across the island to boost the rollout of COVID-19 vaccinations. China's ambassador to Jamaica, His Excellency Qian Chi, says the donation of the vehicles is one part of a general COVID-19 vaccination plan. The initiative embarrassed people-centered core concept follows the guideline of practical cooperation and advocates the spirit of open and inclusive partnership. China will make new contributions to the global development and international development cooperation. During the pandemic, China has been doing its best to provide humanitarian assistance to the international community and supporting global anti epidemic efforts. China will provide a total of 2 billion doses of vaccines for the rest of the world by the end of this year. As strategic partners and good friends, China and Jamaica have joined hands in tiding over the difficulties and combating the pandemic. I hope the soon coming Chinese vaccines and the medical equipments will continue to support Jamaica's efforts to respond to the pandemic. China will stand side by side with Jamaica to push forward our strategic partnership to a new level. Dr. Tofton says the buses have visited 12 locations with another five sites planned over the next few days. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Simone Absalom Gale.